Okay, everybody. So what we're going to end up doing is we're going to be end up making this, this outfit. Um, I did play like a little dance um, so that you can see how well it flows without the stickiness between the, the thighs. Um, in between the thighs, there's no stickiness. The, the arms flow very well. No um, like tear or anything going on. Um, but in order to do this, we are going to need several things to be able to make this outfit and that is marvelous design we are also going to need um, blender 2.79 and blender 2.72 we will begin in blender 2.79 making our um, avastar or our, our, our rig for the the body for marvelous design and I'm going to show you how to do that step by step so right now let's begin by pulling up the blender 2.79 so that we can make the um, avatar a pose okay once you got your 2.79 blender pulled up go ahead and go to your uh, dev kit manager and click um, on the avatar that you want mine was the Maitreya now we're going to go ahead and clean up the um, rig display so click on the rig display and then once you get there you're going to click on stick and then click on the little funnel down there at the bottom click that to clean up the bones okay so now we're going to move over to the right of your screen go to um, Laura Skelly and there is a um, a part where you can unclick that part where it says the rings and all that unclick that and then click that um, for the the mesh the clothing mesh but in this one I do want to go ahead and click both of them because I am going to export this out for my um, marvelous design so um, in the meantime I also want to show you something real quick we want to get rid of these bento hands. We don't want these included in when we go to do our pants or our shorts that we're going to be making. So unclick the bento hands. We don't need that. Go down to Laura Skelly and we're going to just use the classical hands. So once we got those done, go ahead and um, we're going to separate this uh, rig and the body so go ahead and click another tab and cl click M to um, separate it there we go alright so now we're gonna click on the rig go to pose mode now we're gonna just do our A pose real quick so that we can export this A pose to a folder that we can save it to make sure we do our hand our arms there we go Okay, and then once you got that all done, all right. Once we get this all done, we're gonna we all before we do exporting anything, we need to also click the other part for the neck to stick out just a little bit more, just like that, so that we can make higher collars if we want to. Okay, so once you have that done, we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is selected. So make sure you double click A and have it. It all needs to be selected. Go ahead and export OBJ save it as a selection only put it in a folder that you're going to remember so I'm going to name it I'm going to name it something I'm going to remember as well and it's going to be the same that I'm going to say the same way I'm going to save it as my blend file so I'm going to do m3 export okay and then I'm going to marvelous I'm going to delete this one this is one I had saved before so we're gonna refresh that there's my um, avatar bring that in there we go okay so now that we got that in we can begin making our clothes but I also want to save my blend file um, as well for um, whenever I go to load it up in 2.72 so all right, I, had already, I had already saved my blend file so just make sure you go to save as and save as into a blend um, folder that you can remember where you saved it this is where I saved mine which is and then it brings it up as a 2.72 for me so that's how I have everything saved 
<clears throat> you can do the same thing okay now um, let's go back to marvelous design we are going to begin making the outfit that I had started out with from the beginning for you guys when she was dancing this is the outfit that we're going to be making okay okay all right let me move this out of the way one second okay and just follow along as I begin making the outfit um, so it's pretty easy we're just going to go up here to the polygon and then start drawing our shorts so just kind of follow along as we do this okay all right we'll be done here in a little bit Okay, so I just found out that we, <clears throat> you can't do that. You gotta, we're gonna have to redo this middle part and make it a copy and a paste, not a copy and a uh, sync, whatever it's called. So what we're gonna do, what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna have to delete one of these here because it's gonna keep continue to do that. So um, we're gonna have to delete one of those. So give me one second.
yeah it's not going to work <clears throat> so we're just going to do a copy we're going to do it again i'm just going to make another one um, for the middle part of the the outfit and we're just going to copy and paste it now it should work All right. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, select my whole avatar. I'm going to color it just so that I can kind of see the cloth better. It just helps me kind of see where everything's at. Okay, so yeah, it's starting to look really good. We still got a few more things we got to add. Our cuffs and our sleeves. And then we got to texture it as well. Because I like to texture things in here in Marvelous Design. I think it brings it up even better when we go to load it up in Second Life. Okay. I'm just kind of organizing a little bit of things here and there. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I I'm, I'm, haven't been feeling good, so just bear with me with the um, trying to clear my throat and stuff. Okay. The cuffs and stuff and the sleeves do kind of give me a um, excuse me, a little bit of a hard time. So um, that's why you'll see me kind of adjust things. And uh, I do apologize about that. Forgot to flip that. There we go. Okay, now that we got that, we can start sewing it. <coughs> okay. That's okay, we can just reverse the sewing. Just go to reverse it, and it'll fix it. <coughs> there we go. Okay. Now, there we go, simulate it. And what we can do is we can just highlight these two and just copy it and mirror paste. I don't know why I didn't do that. Okay. Now we can just slide the other one on <clears throat> to the arm. There 
we go. Perfect. And this is nothing fancy, it's just something kind of quick uh, that I wanted to have you guys try and see if you like it. You guys can tweak it the way that you want. If you want to do something a little different, that's fine with uh, making shorts or jeans or however you want to do it. Okay, we're going to make the top cuff for our sleeves. Okay, so I did notice something um, whenever I was doing this. I noticed that I had two cuffs at the bottom. I'm like, how did that happen? But I think the reason the reason why it happened was because when I did that copy and then that paste, I, th I didn't think it paste, but it did. It copied it. So I just need to click one of those. So we're just going to delete one of those out of there so we don't have two. Okay, and then we'll be good to go. All right, it's starting to come together. I just want to make sure that I didn't do two on that side. Yeah, I didn't. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so now we're going to be doing the, the puffy sleeves, and this is the part I do hate after we get this cuff going. I think my top cuffs are a little bit too long. I may have to shrink those down just a bit because they they seem too long. Yeah, I don't I don't like these cuffs. They're not wanting to stay up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, we're going to make the puffy sleeves.
All right, guys, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, delete the cuffs on the other side of the arm. We're just going to um, let me adjust these real quick, real fast. And then what we're going to do is just going to copy and paste the, um, the one that we just finished, the sleeves, over to the other um, side of the arm. <clears throat> Sorry, I meant to do a copy and mirror paste, not copy and the other one. So give me one second. Copy and mirror paste. Okay, and then just drag it to the arm. Alright guys, so I want to make uh, the straps a little bit thinner so it looks a little bit better, not like a, um, like a jumpsuit. I don't want it to look like a jumpsuit strap. So we're going to definitely make these a lot thinner, more like a spaghetti strap.
Okay, if you're wondering what I'm doing, I'm actually naming the um, the different particles of um, clothing so that I can, you know, know which, which is which, and um, this way I can add different textures to if I want to. All right, so we're just gonna um, name these real quick, and then we'll add, start adding textures to the clothing. But it's starting to look better, and uh, you're soon gonna have your your clothing so that we can rig it into Blender 2.72. All right, guys, so I want to um, do some, uh, for the layers, I want to add a preset to those. So we're going to go down here and do some presets. So just, you can add whichever preset. I like to do the, the ones that are going to make the sleeves kind of poof up a little more. So I use a lot of the denim stretch when I'm adding these, as you see as we go along. So let me add these real quick and you can, you can add whatever you want. You don't have to do exactly the same thing that I'm doing. You want to do something different. You're more than welcome to. So let me just get these added and then we'll get ready to do the UV layout for the um, outfit.
All right, you guys, our outfit's coming along really good. It looks pretty good to me. Um, now what we're going to end up doing is getting ready to do the UV layout. So what we're going to do, um, go ahead and click that, and then go ahead and select everything. And then go up there to where it says Simulation and click UV Editor. Select all these. We're going to minimize it down, and we want it to shrink it down into that zero box. Okay, so shrink it down to where it all fits into the, the box there. And you can organize it however you want. So I'm going to organize just these just a little bit. Kind of get it organized into the box. Okay, once that's all done, now what we're going to do is highlight everything. Okay. All right. Let me highlight it again. Sorry about that. Whoops. Highlight everything. Now go up to where that little camera is, and we're going to you're going to select the place where you want to save your outfit and I'm going to make another one because I've already done this before so we're just going to make another one well I'm going to make another one and just name it whatever you want and this is going to be the folder that you're going to save your outfit and your UV layout go ahead and copy the name click on that folder that you made paste it save and then save it again don't close it and then now you can close it all right go back to simulation um gonna highlight everything make sure it's simulated again before we save it and export it so i always double simulate it okay everything looks good go up to the file and you're going to save as a garment because you want to save it in your history folder so you can always go back and redo it if you want or add to it okay and then now we want to go ahead and export obj selected find your folder that you made for it okay and then go ahead and paste the name go ahead and save it and you kind of want to keep it the way everything is, like how mine is. You want it just like this. Okay. And then you're going to go ahead, after you save everything, you're going to go ahead and press OK. And now it's saved. We can minimize this. And then we can go into... Blender 2.72, not Blender 2.79. You want 2.72. Okay, and then go ahead and click another box at the bottom because we're going to bring in our um, outfit. Give me one second. This is where I saved my other one. I just want to double check on that and make sure it was correct for my 2.72. Okay, go ahead and select a box. Go ahead and import OBJ, which is your outfit. All right, now go ahead and shift. Make sure that your outfit is selected. Shift and then make sure you clicked on, click on those other two, those other two boxes, and then unselect everything, which would click A, and then um, go ahead and select your garment, or select the rig and then the garment, and then go over here to the left and click bones, and then unclick that, 
and then go ahead and bind to armature. Okay, once that's done, go ahead and select your garment. You're going to unselect everything. Select your garment. Whoops, there we go. And then select the body. And I always make sure that the hands and feet are selected with that body. Do not get the rig. If you get the rig, undo everything again. All right, and then go ahead and, yeah, just make sure the rig is not selected. <clears throat> and then go up to the tools and select join because you're going to join it all together. Now select the body. Make sure only this body is selected, which is the what we just joined together. Go ahead and press copy and apply. Now select the rig. Go to pose mode. Select pose and apply and oppose to rest pose. <clears throat> okay. Now you're going to want to hang on. Okay. Go ahead and select the body and then press tab. Select A or choose A and deselect everything. Put your cursor over the outfit and select and click L. And you're going to just highlight only the outfit. Make sure you include everything on the outfit, that they're all highlighted, all the pieces. Make sure you don't get the, um, the body. If you do, redo it again, like unselect everything and then highlight the outfit and select, see like how I just did, unselect everything with A and then do it over L, 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 L. <clears throat> and just make sure it all gets selected. Because if you don't select everything, it's not going to all come in together. Okay. Turn it around. Just double check everything. Don't rush with it. Okay, everything looks like it's selected. Looks like I got everything. Nope, I didn't get everything. See, that's what I'm talking about. We would have missed that. All right, now that it's all selected. Yep, got it all. Okay, go ahead and press P. And then click Selection. Okay, go back to object mode. Unselect everything. Okay. All right, now what we're going to do is select um, the body, then select the mesh, your, your clothing. Go to weight paint mode. Now go ahead and transfer the weights. And just wait for it. Okay, now that that's transferred, go ahead and select your bones real quick. And I'm going to show you something. Go to pose mode. And then now when you move your legs, there's no stretchy, no stickiness whatsoever. Everything looks great. Check your, you know, you want to check the arms. Make sure those look good. They do they look great. Okay. Now go ahead and go back to object mode. And we're going to select the, the mesh. Okay, select the mesh, select the body, press join. Okay, and then after we've done that, go ahead and bring in another avatar or you can bring in the um, one down at the bottom, which what I'm going to do, usually I bring in my own avatar, another avatar that I have, but you want it in a um, the regular pose mode. So we're just going to do this one. Go down at the bottom where it says add and then go ahead and add avatar, the triangles. Let's take off those triangles. Just X, delete. <coughs> okay. Now go ahead and shift. Nope, don't click the body, sorry. 
and select it and then shift and then click and add your one that you rigged with the bones click the bones and then once you click the bones you want to go to pose mode whoops let me make sure I got that selected there we go oh my gosh I thought I had it. yeah I do have it selected sorry about that go to pose mode and then line it back up to the regular pose the way it's supposed to be when you load it up into Second Life. Now I, I like to try to be as perfect as I can when doing this so just kind of line it up as best as you can. to do the arms this does take me a little bit because I have to make sure it's perfect I mean I'm not probably going to get it exactly the the right way but I kind of want to make sure I get it as close as I can We are almost done, guys. I know this took forever, but we are in the in stretch here. Okay, that looks good. This side looks uh, about right there. Oh. As soon as right there, stay, stay, stay. Oh well. Okay, my feet. I think I can align them a little bit better. And right there. There we go. Okay. I think it looks good. Oh, I need to fix the feet just a little bit more on this side, and then I'll be done. There we go. All right. Okay. Go ahead and go back to the regular, just pose mode. Select the body. Go to copy. Apply. And then go to, make sure your bones are on. Click the bones. Go to, po make sure it's on pose mode. Go to pose, apply, and rest pose. All right. And then now we want to click on the, um, as soon as, yeah, see looks still good it looks great no stickiness it looks perfect okay so click on the body press tab uh, let's see press tab select the garment again whoops unselect select the garment make sure you get all the pieces Darn it. Unselect. Oh my gosh. This thing can be touchy. We are almost done. Yay. I probably should have done two videos, separate videos. good. I think I got all the pieces. Did I get them all? Nope. I think I missed someone. Yep. All right. I think I got it. Go ahead and select P. Selection. Go back to object mode. Make sure your garment is the only one selected. Select the garment. Okay. Go ahead and export. You're going to do Claudia Avastar Day. Go ahead and find your um, folder and then save it. Paloon outfit.
Okay, go ahead and upload your mesh. Okay, looks pretty good. Oh wait, nope, this is the wrong outfit. This is my old one. Sorry, your guys is probably right, but mine was wrong because I have several different ones. Okay, mine was a short outfit, balloon short outfit. Okay, looks good. Zero, and do the other one zero. And just make sure the rigging is all in here, and it is. Go back to local. Go ahead and calculate, and it should be 11, and it is. Update. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and try this on. Add, and I'll take this one off. Detach. All right, it looks good, guys. Look at that. We can even add in our texture that we just did. It looks great. All right. Go ahead and add in the texture. I gotta make sure I got the right one. Wow, great, great, great. It looks good. Oh, you know what? I want to do a solidify. So I'm going to do a solidify. So give me one second. You guys don't have to do this. So this is just what I'm going to do real quick. And, uh, but this is it guys this is all that you um, have to do you're done with your outfit you can now make jeans you can make shorts you can make all kinds of stuff so I'm um, thank you for watching my video I hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any questions just leave them down in the comments below um, but thanks again for watching have a great night